Happy New Year, everyone. We'll start by welcoming you new to 2023 Tarot Q&A Tuesday, the first one for the year. So we do want to get some overviews for what we're in for or what we need to be aware of. I know a few questions are already amped for that kind of direction. So welcome, everyone. It's nice to see a number of you here. Jess, Judith, Aaron, Michelle, Melissa, and we are waiting for some more as well. Anyway, we're going to begin. We're going to begin with one of the sent in questions just to kick it off and then we'll talk directly to those who have turned up today. Now I have Alex zoning in. I would love a card about my focus for the year. I am starting back at work after maternity leave in a few in a new role and my baby starts daycare, etc. and it's all go. So I'd love to know some key focus areas. She also says, P.S. Do you do full readings for people? Well, for those who don't know, yes, I do. I do one hour readings, one on one, on either Zoom or in person in my little clinic room in Mount Maunganui. You are welcome to inquire about how that works. Simply email me, fiona at sirensoul.com. And this was also how you get a hold of me to ask a question if you haven't been on Tarot Q&A Tuesday before. Anyway, let's kick off with Alex's question. Safe and appropriate to read for Alex today. We just want a card to understand the key areas for her to focus on with so much change going on in her life. Whew. Okay. Oh, my dog's having nightmares under the table. Ah, uh, oh, interesting, Alex, because this is the pregnant woman. She is the mother nature. Oh my goodness. Tony, it's okay. Good dog crying under the table. Uh, the Empress, what a beautiful card to get, having asked about moving from being a full-time mum to part-time work or full-time work. This is saying that your main focus is still motherhood. Absolutely. Just <laughs> need we say more. The Empress is, I feel she's the epitome of Mother Teresa. She's like Mother Nature. She is all the essence of a divine, feminine, mature woman having learnt compassion and empathy and is now quite creative. Now, creative is our nature. Creativity is what we all need to tap into. Without creativity in our lives, we, we find a lackluster, feeling of lackluster. We don't feel that inner fulfillment. And if you wanted to expand on that process, Alex, I would say to launch into you your more creative elements. So that means being in touch with nature. It means doing fun stuff that brings joy to your heart. Anything that gives you the similar feelings that the joy of motherhood would. Not so much the rough times of motherhood, but maybe allowing yourself to transform those rough times into more of a positive outlook. What could you be learning? What you could evolve in yourself to yeah, learn more as you go through the days of growing with your child. Anyway, let's talk to, let's talk to Judith because you're here. Now, Judith has had so much change going on. What a crazy 2022, I know that much. And so 2023 is now full of lots of, it's like a crossroads of a million arrows. Which direction shall you go? And yeah, will we, let's talk at you. Let's look at the question you sent in. And if you want to put your mute off, you can talk to me as well. Will I be working out of a clinic with others or just from home? Will this bring me what I need financially or do I need to get another job? Hello. <laughs> Let me see. Let's just go into, is it best to focus on work from home or outside of the house? And work from home. Yes, it does feel good to work from home. In fact, it's got, we've got the fall. So this is a... This is a terrible line, actually, that we've got here. Maybe you want to turn your mute off just for... Um, 
Yeah, the Fool is a card representing a new journey, the beginning of a new journey, which, oh, what a what a breath of fresh air that is for you, right? Because this is indicating the end of the struggle of something and the start of a new way of looking at things. And this usually implies a more of a spiritual path, a deeper spiritual path. Now, whilst you've been on, open to spirituality for quite a few years, this is a deepening of that and really coming more into living your soul's journey rather than as much of a blend of the human ego. Yeah, so that says a lot in a nutshell. That card represents a lot. Do you have any extra questions around that? Oh, I'll say, yeah, it just feels home. I don't think it's necessary to join other people at this time. It's, you also have the opportunity to do Zoom as well. So really your focus is in how to put yourself out there. And yeah, obviously online it comes up pretty strongly for me when I'm feeling into that right now. It's a no-brainer really, but I am tuning in because in my case, in fact, I get a lot of clientele from my old school sign that's on the road. In fact, I get most of my clients from that sign or referrals. So maybe it's not such an obvious answer. Online. It's really important to get clear on the essence of what your business is about and start to launch that in a very clear and concise way to potential people, potential clients. Feel free to think of another question that can run on from that. If we get time at the end, we will go into that as well. Hello, Aaron. Nice to have you back. You've been away a few times recently. I would like to know if I will be getting back to Australia this year. Oh, I'm sure you want to know that. Yes, it's a lifelong question for you, isn't it, at this time? As another big hiccup happened, it didn't end up happening, and my personal belongings that were still there are now being sent over here now. What the heck? Oh, my God. When you think it gets... This, okay. I just need, actually, to pull a card for you, Aaron, that is either indicating another year of struggle or another year of harmony and new beginnings in the positive so we're going to say uh what we're just going to get a card to represent the year as a whole for you before we dive into any more of the details erin oh wow this is positive this is good the king of pentacles oh it's pretty amazing actually we could have got um any card but this is extremely favorable on many levels you really feeling in fact I believe you actually got this the other last time you had a reading about your potential new car did you buy the car shake your head nod your head did you buy the car you did <laughs> so look this is where you've got the same feeling of this year Feel into how that car makes you feel when you're driving around, just being a human, enjoying his joyride. And that is the vibration you need to hold on to because we want more of this and the potential is there for you pretty strongly. Now, will you get back to Australia? Uh, will you get back to Australia? Aaron apparently got the card for a bargain. And you can easily sell it for a good profit. Well, hello. We knew that felt right for you, didn't we? Uh, Aaron, will you go? Will you get back to Australia this year? Oh, the drum roll! Oh, I'm too scared to pull it over for you, Aaron. Oh, it's not looking that favourable at this second. Uh, yeah, it's not looking overly favourable at this second. But we're not going to hold. We're not going. Just, just like as anything can change. It's um. Yeah, anything, it's it's actually not as complex as a definite no. It's not as simple as a definite no, it's more complex. Uh, mm. the, the message really is about coming into that King of Pentacles energy. It's also aligned with the Nine of Pentacles. So it's really, the focus needs to be on coming into harmony, feeling really great in your own skin, really enjoying your life now. So I know I've said this to you before, but if you can come into loving what you have, you're more likely to get what you want, rather than not loving what you have and hoping it changes. 
Do you see the difference? I know, don't even look at me, I can't even look at you, Erin. I can't even look at you. But I believe there is positivity in this year for you, Erin. You do have to do the work. We always have to do the work. All of us have to do the work. I see a lot of people over these holidays hiding behind their, their vehicle for suppression. And when I say that vehicle for suppression, I'm thinking this is either actual drugs, can be too much drinking, could be medication drugs as well. It can be anything to avoid dealing with the inside stuff. Do you know what, guys? This year, you're not going to get away with it. Stuff is just going to keep trying to purge out of you whether you want it to or not. Therefore, you may as well jump on the game of life and start to be in touch with your inner, inner self, your authentic self, your soul's purpose. Because otherwise you're going to get pushed, pushed, pushed really hard. And that pushing is trying to lead you in a better direction for yourself. Many of you on here are already doing that, so that's not going to be a problem. For those who are not, it might be more challenging. And then Aaron says, okay, find, time to find a new house then, I guess. Well, that's a great attitude, and that's something good to look forward to as well. So, you know, it's just got to be, you got to live in the moment. At any point in time, you can make a change, but live in the moment. Today is your life, not the future, today. Okay, let's talk to Melissa and then we're going to do the collective consciousness card. For everyone who's watching, that means you on YouTube if you're watching the replay or anybody else who hasn't asked a question who's watching in Zoom right now. First of all, Melissa, what does 2023 have in store for me? Well, this is a good general question on the the beginning of a year we don't mind asking a general question to kick off the new year with fabulous intent while I'm on that though can I ask all of you to punch into the comments your word of the year if you don't have one contemplate it as I'm pulling Melissa's card make up a word or not make up a word choose a word <laughs> choose a word that could sum up your ideal year any word. Melissa. 2023 for Melissa. Well, uh, this is a positive card. The card is talking about moving from rough waters to calmer seas. Often, this is a self-made situation, meaning you have consciously decided to change your attitude about something, to look at things from a new perspective, to literally not take your baggage wherever you go. Now, I'm not being rude about your personal baggage. It's a concept that, you know, wherever we go, there you are. So sometimes we think we can move house or move countries or get a new boyfriend or get a new girlfriend or get a new job. But we're, wherever we end up, we're the same person if we haven't dealt with the reason we wanted the change. I feel, Melissa, that you're going to get on the bandwagon and do the work that we we're just talking about. So that's really funny that we actually said that. I just want to get another card as to how, how this is best going to <laughs> play out for you. What exactly is the process you're going to take? Goodness knows what that could be. Stopping the inner conflict, the fo is it just inner? It's just an inner conflict actually. It's not always inner with this card. This is a five of swords. It's really the conflict between two parties often. But that can be our self and our soul. It can be our ego and our limiting beliefs versus our heart. And this is where no one wins, even if you achieve something through the force of your thought, if your heart's not involved, then you don't win. So that means ask yourself what love would do every time something conflicting in your mind is being sabotaging to your life. Does that make sense? Are you sure? Because 
I can try and sum that up in a bit better way. Basically, it's just being mindful of your inner critic and stopping yourself and saying, is that how someone who loves themselves would speak to themselves? You know, I actually posted on Instagram today something around being really appreciative of our bodies, being really appreciative of the space we need mentally and being really appreciative of our inner essence, our soul. And taking the time every day, even if it's just for a couple of minutes, to be in that appreciation. For some, this might look like doing an hour of yoga. For others, it might look like sitting on the beach. Someone else might like to go for a swim and do laps in a pool so that they get the tranquility and the peacefulness. Whatever it is, it's about connecting our mind, body and soul on a daily basis. And this is super important for those people who have decided to go on a big diet to start the year off. Anything that's being kind of rejecting of ourselves is going to be a big no-no for this year. We need to embrace the new year with appreciation of the fact that we have this beautiful body, even if we're not thinking it's the most beautiful that we would prefer it to look like. We need to come into that mode and that might be a process for some people in itself. For other people, it could just be the negative thoughts. For other people, they're not listening to the intuition. Take five minutes or more a day, every day, and it will change your life. I promise you, I promise you that. You gotta do the work. Okay, let's talk about the collective consciousness card today. What do we all need to hear for 2020? What do we need to hear? Is it what we need to hear or is it more I'm just going to pull the card. We'll soon find out. All right. Oh, nice one. Well, this is the card of absolute connection, the best divine connection. Often the soulmate card. Some of you may find your soulmate if you're looking for that kind of love, divine love connection. Ultimately, this is talking about connections having a genuine, authentic connection or more connections, not just one, with those around you. Genuine, genuinely building relationships with heart. That's for everyone. We are asked to be real, to be honest, to be interested in others, to be willing to connect and find your tribe. Not just go about life, ticking boxes, making money, doing societal ways, following the conditioning of our life. No, connection, connection, connection. And this, in fact, could also lead for some of you into your beautiful soulmate connection with a lover. If you had asked me about a love life and I pulled that card, I'd be like all over it. I'd be doing a little happy dance. So. It's good news for us. It's a good message. So it's a, it's a message of all sorts, isn't it? Be willing to find the connection. But no, this is the year to enhance it. It's what the world needs in this crazy world where we're more medicated and depressed than ever before. Connection is the answer. FYI. <laughs> you heard it here first. Or well, maybe not first. What are all these messages I'm missing out on? Okay. Oh, words, words, beautiful words for 2023. Presence, says Jess. She doesn't mean gifts, by the way. She means mindfulness, being in the moment, the here and now. Uh, freedom, says Judith. And Melissa thinks presence and freedom would be nice as well, or something along the lines of that. Okay, some other words. Things like abundance, love, letting go. These are also good good affirmations for us to take through into 2023. All right, I'm, I'm all over the show. Let's get grounded and pull a card for Jessica. She just wants a 2023 card too. Could I please have a card for the new year? Yes, you can. Jessica.
Well, we already know what this is. <laughs> this is your new job, Jess. We've already got it though, so it's no surprise to us. They're not telling us anything new, but it does feel that it is aligned with correct action. You know, like it's absolutely the right move if you had any questions about it or you go in and you feel freaked out in the first couple of weeks of this new job. Fear not, let that go. This is the start of a new journey that is very much in its infancy. So watch it grow. <laughs> and then I pull the star. This is seriously a, a much more aligned path than where you've been up until now. So this is something to do a dance about. Shed your light on the world. This is only the beginning though, Jess. This is just step one. There's lots more steps that you'll be doing, which I'm not saying it as in, oh my goodness, there's heaps to do. I mean, I'm saying you've started the marathon. Watch it evolve. It's going to be everything that you love to do. When I say that, it doesn't mean it's not going to have bad days. It's just on the path to your greatest way of serving the world, helping humanity. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, it's a big focus point for you, Jess, actually, this year. Not that we want to say it's about career, and more so it's about purpose. And it's aligned with your career. So that's a lot like myself, you know. Isn't that fantastic when you can get out of bed and love your days just because your work is your favorite thing to do? Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, we've done Jess, Michelle. We haven't talked to Michelle yet. Did you send me a kiss? You did. Michelle, the beautiful Michelle. What is the most important aspect or focus or something new that will kickstart off my business this year? Oh, 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 okay. Michelle. Oh, the cards aren't shuffling. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to remind you guys actually that if you are if you are keen to evolve yourself this year on the path of you know unwrapping your best self and everything like that please do try out one of the cosmic consulting classes you can actually do your first one for free and just email me we talk about all sorts of things about life and growth and intuitive guidance from the cosmos michelle i'm just kind of getting into the vibe of your card because Ah, this card is always, I always get this card for you. It's a funny card, this. We've had it three times for you lately, Michelle. I think you need to Google the card itself. It's the Page of Cups. Now, we've mentioned this as a surprise, but we've talked about this being tapping into your inner child and having a, a more sense of wonder when you look at the world and be willing to be see things from a more of a, I wasn't say a different perspective, just allow yourself to be curious. Curious is the key word there. Very curious. I'm going to pull you another card because we have had that one a lot for you lately and it is really, well it's great that it's the same story, at least we, you know we're telling you what you need to know. And now we've got the the death card, which is all about coming into that authenticity. So the page of cups represents your inner child, that talking to your inner child, being in touch with your inner child, healing the inner child, and the new beginnings is all about letting go of the old and being more of your authentic self, shedding the layers of society and ego. So if you wanted to merge the two, it kind of comes into one and the same. So the focus point, is this for your clients or both? It feels like the focus point for both you and your clients. And I feel like you unwrap aspects that you, you may have even done some of this already. You can unwrap aspects of your What am I gonna how do I describe this? I've got pictures, not words.
Do you know what the words I get? I'm just going to say it. It says, don't eat the poisonous apple. Yeah, don't be tempted by the temptation. Instead, keep your eye on that authenticity and that heartfelt calling from the inner child. Oh, Michelle, that's very tricky for me to explain. Okay, on that note, I'm going to whiz over to somebody else and you can put in the chat if you need more clarity. Cherie, is it worth pursuing my latest love, interest, or are our lives too different from one another? Let's just ask if the relationship has legs to go on for the future or whether you are at the end of the line with this person. This is a yes or no card then. Do we get more than a yes or no card in this? It might give us more information either way. The message is stop asking questions and follow your instinct. It's pretty harsh really, isn't it? It's super important just to allow things to unfold and not know the answers. It's a practice for not setting yourself up with your head thoughts about how this relationship could look. Instead, feel into it. Feel it. Make the choice based on the feeling, not the fear. Not the fear of not having someone and not the, the thought about what they could or couldn't be. Don't make up stories, as we do when we start dating new people. We put them into this pretty little movie that we make of our own. Best thing to do is just take one step at a time and enjoy the process and use it as a playful game to see how good your intuition is. What are you following? Your head or your instinct? That's going to be the challenge for you. Okay. Next, please. Jessica. Okay. Scott, what do I need to understand or do in order to be more fulfilled this year? I guess this is kind of like a 2023 card as well, but just asked in a slightly different way. I was flipped over that card, but I'm not sure it was actually designed for you. It's more of me shuffling. Okay. Scott, what, what do you really need to hear about the lack of fulfillment that you're feeling or thereabouts? I have a card that whilst means lots of things. For you, I feel it's very important to have time with friends, time to celebrate, time to experience joy, time to experience creativity, time to connect with other people. This would imply less focus on money, work, and the drudgery of how life can be when it's busy, for example. It's a suggestion to find more balance with work and play. Not really a big, you know, enlightening message. However, it feels very apt for where you're at. And this can also imply that you might need to contemplate a bit of where your life's at at the moment because it feels like there's like a missing piece that well maybe that is the missing piece having more social time having the balance like you've got three things lined up and i feel there's one thing that needs to add in there just to make it feel more personally fulfilled and content perhaps you're doing too much for other people this would actually feed your soul a little bit more just to connect in with socializing so that's not family as such could involve your family but it's more making friends having that aspect of your life an outlet, an outlet for you to let your hair down, you could say. Let your hair down. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to whiz through here. Alex, Michelle, Melissa, Jessica, Judith, Cherie, Susan, what sorts of projects will I get involved in this year? Okay, guys. Any more words for the year in the comments? I'm missing the things. Home, stability. Michelle, I said don't eat the poisonous apple. But uh, you can say cup. The... Uh, yeah, 
Don't be tempted by the carrot. It's a, it's a funny one. Susan, types of projects. Well, what I've got here is the King of Wands, which is all about the height of passion and creativity and really being in your power element of I want to pull another card because I'm, I'm a bit confused about this one for you yeah <laughs> you won't necessarily want to hear this because I had this feeling you wanted to know like a money-making venture however this one is not about money-making so the projects are not about money making they're about passion and creativity and yeah exploring your ability to find what you're really good at that's not that's not to do with work that's what we're gonna say i off the money i in the heart instead okie doke guys what else do we need to know? Does anybody want to have a little chat? Leah, card for you. Card for you for 2023. Let's pull that one. I can already feel the energy of your card, Leah. It's called Boundaries. Let's see what actually comes up for you. A beautiful, empowered woman in her independence, comfortable in her own skin, financially stable, looking after her needs so that she can be there for other people. And you know what? This little bird, this little birdie that you see there, that she's holding her bird, that's your little doggy. Just you guys doing your thing, feeling fiercely independent, fierce independence with boundaries. I believe that's your motto for 2023. Okay, I'm going to pull one last card for a secret person. Woohoo, secret persons. It's a new thing, isn't it? <sighs> Melissa, that photo of your daughter there is absolutely gorgeous. Is that your daughter? I assume it's your daughter. The message for the secret person is the temperance card. This is all about divine timing, allowing the process to unfold as it should. As I've said many times before, you can't get pregnant today and have the baby tomorrow. It's a really good practical understanding and metaphor for life. What does this card absolutely represent? Patience. Hmm. Guess who this card's for? Me! <laughs> so anyway, I wanted one myself. So on that note, we are going to see you. Please be in touch about joining the Cosmic Consulting. We have a special deal if you join for three months, but you're also welcome to come along for one class. So please be in touch because we are building our little group and it's evolving. And as we evolve together, so do the classes. So you're best to get on now before you miss the beginning stuff. You know what I mean? You can look up on the website, sirensoul.com forward slash cosmic. Find out the details there. All right, see you next week, guys. I missed you all last week. It was very quiet. Ciao for now. Bye.